I would like to talk for just one minute up to the students about your about your future when you leave here, because there's you're going to learn a tremendous amount about investments, uh, and you'll learn you'll learn enough to do well. You've you've all got the IQ to do well. You've all got the initiative and energy to do well, or you wouldn't be you wouldn't be here. Uh, and most of you will succeed in 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 in, in meeting your aspirations, uh, but in in determining whether you succeed, uh, there's more to it than intellect and energy, and I'd like to talk for just a second about that. In fact, uh, there was a fellow that Pete Kiewit in Omaha used to say that he looked for three things in hiring people. He looked for integrity, intelligence, and energy, and he said if, the, if that person didn't have the first two, that the latter two would kill him, because if they don't have integrity, you want them dumb and lazy. <laughs> you don't want them smart and energetic. Uh, <laughs> And I'd, I'd really like to talk about that first one, because we, we know you've got the second two. And, and I'd, I'd play along with me in a little game for just a second uh, and, and in terms of thinking about that question. Uh, you've all been here, I, I guess almost all of your second year MBAs, and you've gotten to know your classmates. And think for a moment that I granted you the right to buy 10% of one of your classmates for the rest of his or her lifetime. Um, now, you can't pick one with a rich father. That doesn't count. I mean, you've got to, uh, you've got to pick, them, uh, pick somebody who's going to do it on their own merit. And, and I gave you an hour to think about it. Which one are you going to pick among all your classmates as for the one you want to own 10% of for the rest of their lifetime? And are you going to give them an IQ test? Pick the one with the highest IQ? I doubt it. Are you going to pick the one with the best grades? Uh, I doubt it. Uh, you're not even going to pick the most energetic one necessarily, or the one that displays the most initiative. But you're going to start looking for qualitative factors in addition, because everybody's got enough brain here and, and, and enough energy. And I would say that if you thought about it for an hour and decided who you're going to place that bet on, you'd probably pick the one who you responded the best to, because uh, the one that was going to have the leadership qualities, the ones who were going to be able to get other people to carry out uh, their interests. And that would be the person who was generous and honest and who gave credit to other people even if for their own ideas, all kinds of qualities like that. And you could write down those qualities that you admire in this other person, whoever you admire most in the class. And then I would throw in a hooker. I would say as part of owning 10% of this person, you had to agree to go short 10% of somebody else in the class. Uh, that's more fun, isn't it? <laughs> and you think, well, now who do I want to go short of? And uh, uh, again, you wouldn't pick the person with the lowest IQ or the... Or, uh, you, you, would, you would start thinking about the person, really, who turned you off for one reason or another. I mean, they had very, various qualities, quite apart from their academic achievement, but they had various qualities. In the end, you shouldn't really want to be around them, and other people didn't want to be around them. And what were the qualities that lead to that? Well, there'd be a whole bunch of things. You know, but it's the person who's egotistical, the person who's greedy, the person who slightly dishonest, cuts corners, all of these qualities. And you could write those down on the right-hand side of the page. And when you look at that, as you looked at those qualities on the left and right hand side, there's one interesting thing about them. It's not the ability to throw a football 60 yards. Uh, it's, not, it's not the ability to run the 100 yard dash in 9-3. It's not being the best looking person in the class. They're all qualities that if you really want to have the ones on the left hand side, you can have them. I mean, they are, they're qualities of behavior, temperament, character that, that are achievable. They're not forbidden to anybody in this group. And if you look at the qualities on the right-hand side, the ones that you find turn you off in other people, there's not a, there's not a quality there that you have to have. If you have it, you can, you, can, you, can, you can get rid of it. And you can get rid of it a lot easier at your age than you can at my age because uh, most behavior is, is, is habitual. And they say the chains of habit are too light to be felt until they're too heavy to be broken. And there's no question about it. I see people with these self-destructive behavior patterns that my age or even 10 or 20 years younger and they really are entrapped by them they they go around and they do things that turn off other people uh, right and left and uh, uh, they don't need to be that way but by a certain point they get so they can hardly change it but at your age you can have any 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 habits any any patterns of behavior that you wish it's simply a question of which you decide and why not decide the ones that I mean if you like uh, ben Graham did this, and Ben Franklin did it before him, but Ben, ben Graham in his, low, in his low teens looked around and he looked at the people he admired and he said, you know, I want to be admired, so why don't I just behave like them? And he found there was nothing impossible about behaving like them. 
And similarly, he, he did the same thing on, on the reverse side in terms of getting rid of those qualities. So I would suggest that if you write those qualities down and think about them a little while and make them habitual, you will be the one that you want to buy 10% of when you get all through. And the beauty of it is you already own 100% and you're stuck with it. So you might as, you might as well be that person.